Ooh. Are you ready to practice some spoon bending? If you are, stick with me. I'm Trina, your intuitive guide from the Moon Tree. TheMoonTree.org, helping you navigate life's energies. This is not for people who think that this is fake, okay? This is for people who believe in it. If you don't believe in it and you think I'm fake, you better not watch the rest of this video because you're gonna think the whole thing's fake, okay? This is for people who want to expand the mind for energy healing, that's what I do. And so if that scares you or if it bothers you, well, this video is not for you. This is for people who really, really want to bend a spoon for real, okay? Today's shirt is brought to you by Colette Baron Reed. Woo crew. Very cool. I love this shirt, by the way. Nice long sleeves, soft, and very intuitive. So, my channel, if you're new to my channel, this is all about energy and energy healing. And we look at the energy of the stars through astrology and through Chinese metaphysics like feng shui, batsi, and chi men. You might be interested in organite, orgon energy, that kind of thing, which you'll see some of that stuff on my YouTube channel here, as well as we like to work with energy to bend spoons, because that's just fun. We bend spoons so that we open up our mind and realize the vast potential that our mind has to change our reality into a better way. And this is a part of energy healing. In fact, maybe the most important part is our mindset. In order to bend a spoon, we have to be in this mindset that yes, we can do it. Realize that you will be able to bend a spoon. If not today, if not tomorrow, with more practice and meditation and help to relieve all these constrictive thoughts in your brain, then you'll be able to, you know, bend that spoon. It's, it's fun to practice. It's great to challenge the mind and it expands your mind and awareness of uh, a bigger picture view. And it helps to relieve fear and being able to know your personal power. It's very empowering when you bend a spoon because you realize you are much more powerful than you know. Next thing is pick a spoon. Okay, let me just open my drawer here. Oh, this was a spoon that I bent before when I used to do this a lot. I'll keep that to show you, but I don't feel confident in my abilities right now, so I'm just gonna grab this really thin, small teaspoon. warn you about when you start to bend spoons and you start to activate that part of you other things that are metal on your body will go awry for example this turquoise ring that I got at the Bodhi tree in Peace River shout out to Barb and her daughter for making this beautiful ring it's turquoise but it used to be circular right there's a little short video I have um, somewhere in there about how it you know this used to be circular and it's very heavy metal it forms to your finger almost, to my fat, weird looking fingers there, okay? But you get my trip, that can happen to you, you know? But, well, means that your ring's now more, much more personalized to you. So keep in mind, if you don't want your rings affected in any way, uh, it seems to only affect my Jupiter finger, the pointer finger, the learning fingers, okay? Like my um, ring here doesn't get affected, it's still, stays pretty circular here. It seems to be the fingers, these controlling fingers, I call them, the pointer fingers, your magic wand fingers. Okay, another thing you can do to help the process is to use some kind of tools. I like to have one of my organite pyramids near with the blue kyanite and that. I like that, okay. And I also like to use um, this wand created by Michelle, the artist of our Power of Eight Chakra Oracle cards. If you ever want to check that out, it's also available as an app. This chakra wand here, handmade for me from a branch from her tree in Canada. And I really love, love it so much. But, um, you know, you can use whatever tools or you can use none at all, it really doesn't matter. I like to use tools because, you know, I'm an energy tool maker and I, I like I like using tools, but it's up to you. You know, whatever makes you feel stronger and more empowered and free to bend the spoon. So we picked our spoon. Um, I haven't done this in a long time, so I'm picking the teaspoon as you see. Now, when I first started doing these videos back a long time ago, see 
here. I used to get a lot of comments like, this is fake and you're using a fake spoon and all that. And it kind of like hurt my feelings because I was like, no, I'm not using a fake spoon. And I didn't even know there was such thing. Like there's spoons that are, I don't know how to explain it, but you can fake bend, but this is not for people who think that this is fake. Okay, this is for people who believe in it. This is for people who really, really want to bend a spoon for real, okay? <laughs> you want to do is pick the thinnest part I can already see in this spoon that it already wants to bend like I could see it starting to like think about it right I'm gonna focus my energy on that thin spot and what I mean by focus energy is like what I think about when I'm bending a spoon is I'm trying to laser beam the energy of my brain okay into the thinnest spot and it's like a laser beam and what it's doing is it's to me it's heating it up it's separating the molecules because you know as we separate molecules it becomes easier to bend right so you think of it as heat so let's do that first just grab your spoon be comfortable with it love it don't have any expectations and just relax if it's just bending a spoon, okay? And so here we go. I like to touch it and rub it and start to just think about it getting hot. And then I like to focus my eyes and focus my thoughts now. I'm simply gonna focus on generating it heat and making it hot, okay? I'm thinking of it becoming malleable. I'm thinking of it becoming soft. And you can even start to touch it and rub it and feel, pretend like it's going brr, brr, like, Everybody has a different method, right? Sometimes I like to sing to it. And sometimes I like to, in one of my past spoon bending videos, I like to do the Jedi Knight with my tool to really help me get into that mode of focusing the energy. Separating the molecules a little bit. That's it, that's all you're doing. Separating the molecules, creating heat. Heat is going to make those molecules separate and become more liquid and become more bendy. And you can use your pointer finger, you know, if you don't have a tool or whatever, use your finger. You're, I, I'm right-handed, so I like to use my right finger. This is a Labradorite ring though, but if anybody was curious about what I'm wearing, okay. And so let's focus on that. At this point, you could even test it out and feel like oh yeah it seems to want to drop it seems to be wanting to fall you could even test it at this point by just seeing oh yeah it's it's getting there right it's not where I want it to be but it's starting to so I'll bend it back a little bit into place there but you can see like it's starting to want to bend so keep going at it you know I'm going to just press pause or time lapse on this video so you don't have to watch me going zzz for about five minutes but that might be what it takes it takes a good five minutes to get this nice and warm okay zzz. you are so soft and ready to bend making yourself bend that's it. Yes. Yes. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yes, you are soft and malleable, my little spoon. My little spoon. That's it. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, it's a lot of work. <laughs> I haven't done this in a long time. I haven't been doing enough meditation. I haven't been training my mind lately. Uh, I just realized that I haven't done a spoon bending video for a long time. And I actually know that that's what all my viewers love the most about my channel. But I've, I'm into a lot of, you know, the predictions and energy forecasting now and things like that. So I thought, you know, it'd be fun to go back and do some uh, spoon bending here. Well, it's hard getting back into it for me. I haven't done this in a long time and uh, you know, some people are like, oh, do you do other kinds of telekinesis? Not really. I, I'm not really, I don't really am into telekinesis that much. It's just that I like to do it once in a while 
to remember the fact of how powerful our minds really are to change our reality. So this is level one, right? As you get better. A few years ago when I was doing this a lot, I was being able to spin quite a bit, right? And the more we practice and the more we let go of our resistance, the better we'll have. So this was, you know, a good practice to get you back into it. If you haven't bent your spoon for a long time, this could be a good reminder for you too, to get back into it. And uh, yeah, so check it out. I mean, it's not perfect. I was just having a conversation about the perfection thing. A lot of us try to achieve perfection when really all we have to do is focus on 70%, okay? 70% anything you do instead of focusing on perfection. That way you're not gonna get stuck in analysis paralysis and things like that. So I hope that helps, you know, good for step one here. You know, we'll all be buying some more silverware and trying again in a future video, but hopefully this helps you to get you on your journey. And after you're done bending your spoon, check out some of my other videos like this one or like this one. Thank you for watching me. I appreciate you. Like and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. I'm Trina, your intuitive guide from the moon tree.